What the fuck is this piece of shit? Hey guys, before we get into the video, I wanted to mention this quote from the director that came out after we filmed our thoughts on this fucking disappointment of a movie. This is undeniably the laziest and outright disrespectful way to say your CG looks like shit because it was supposed to look that way. $200 million, double that of Across the Spider-Verse, and we get 2005 video game graphics for 75% of the runtime and this bullshit excuse. Anyway, I just wanted to throw this in here at the beginning. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right. Well, hi guys, my name is Rui. I'm Rob. And this is Soulless Flicks. So today we're gonna bring you guys The Flash. Flash? We're gonna start with a spoiler free review at first and then we'll move on yeah we'll move into a spoiler yeah. section after we get done Cut talking about <laughs> our, <laughs> after we get done talking about our general thoughts and opinions on the movie we're going to move into spoilers after a while it, it's not going to take that long because there's not a lot to talk about other than you know what uh, uh the movie is actually about i did not like this movie i thought this movie was very soulless you're already thinking like oh many people have been talking great about this movie you already think it's going to be good blah 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 out of the beginning the cgi like what the fuck's wrong with the fucking cgi <laughs> like Oh my goodness, I mean, Iron Man looks better. Like, the first Iron Man looks better than this movie, right? The the CGI, and it's something that I don't like to bitch about too much because, I mean, you know, in a lot of movies, yeah, the CGI isn't top-notch, but they're still really good movies. Mm -hmm. This isn't that case. This movie is fucking horrible, and the CGI does not help at all. So I'm going to be a hypocrite, and I'm going to bitch about the CGI because it was fucking terrible. It was. It was like a video game, and I'm not joking. You know, It I, is like not even a good video game. Yeah, it was a bad video it's game, like a, It's like a video game that came out 10 years ago, that type of CGI. You, you know when they used to do in video games? Well, they will put it on like real-life scenes, Yeah. and they yeah. will go cut back into the actual video game, so you'll see between the movie take and then the video game take, yeah. and you'll see that difference in... CGI and real version, that's how it felt. Yeah, yeah. It felt like a bad cut scene. Like, it was, it was fucking horrible. So, from the trailer, you see, and this is a specific scene I'm going to point out again. It's, it's not a spoiler, but Michael Shannon, they brought Michael Shannon back as Zod. Uh, he's in the trailers and whatnot. Mm -hmm. They didn't even need to bring him back because he looked like shit the entire time. He looked yeah. like just shitty CGI the entire time. And Everyone I did. Yeah. Everyone did. Yeah, it, it, was, it was so distracting. Like, every... Every special effects scene was fucking horrible. It was. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it was, again, a person who really doesn't care too much about CGI as long as you have yeah. a good movie and a good story. Yeah, like, as long as you you will say, you know, the storyline is good, you know? And then at first when we were talking about The Flash when it was first coming out, you kept thinking about Flashpoint. And then you're talking about, you know, you have the cartoon, the Flashpoint Paradox movie. So you kind of, like, want to compare it to this and you're expecting something like that. It's another flop try to make something new something different and you flopped yeah again again i'm fucking i'm again pissed <laughs> because i came i believe i, I bought yeah. into the hype like i i've no, i know me too I, yeah. I was like yeah let's go it, it's just dc has been obviously it's been struggling mm -hmm. for a while uh you got you got uh, um james gunn that just recently took over he's been hyping this movie up this has been other people that have seen the movie early that have been hyping it up and I trust those people. Yeah. You know, I'm a, I'm a James Gunn stan. I'll, I'll, I'll be the mm -hmm. first to admit it. But after this movie, I, I was literally pissed off in the halfway through it. But I was like, maybe it'll get better. And, and then once once we get into spoilers, I mean, I'll, I'll give more reasons to it. But right now, this movie is certified service. Oh, it's yeah. Certified service. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it, it was it was a thing. I, I guess because my expectations were up here. Like, if you go into this movie not having high expectations, mm -hmm. maybe it's not as bad as yeah. we're making it out to be. Well, or my maybe. expectations weren't that high. I was just expecting to at least see a good storyline. Not even give me that. But I already knew going in, well, everyone knew because they said it before going in, that it was taking elements from Flashpoint. But <laughs> it was just like, why do this shit? Like, yeah. this is what pisses me off. They did this. They did Death of Superman uh, uh, in, in Batman v, v Superman. They, they basically, the Flashpoint Paradox stars... It starts that universe uh, because it throws away the old 42 and then it brings in the new the new comic book uh, cartoon movies yeah and it's 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 a great start 
I was expecting that from this movie. I'm not gonna get into spoilers, but it, it's it, my thing with DC is they keep wasting these really good iconic storylines. In, in Batman v Superman, the death of Superman, they did that. Doomsday, they did that. But they're doing shit so early in. Well, I guess you know it doesn't matter because they're they're racing that universe. But I think that's one thing they that I hope oh, yeah. James Gunn understands is. These big storylines, you need to have some buildup. Yeah, you, you just can't exactly. fucking kill Superman. You started and, Batman vs Superman, and you're already you killed Superman in the second movie he's ever in. You did Doomsday. Yeah, for um, Batman, we barely got to meet him, and he's already broken. And that's cool. You get a cool Batman. Yeah. At least I am. I'm a fan of Batfleck, right? But I mean, and then you bring try to bring those elements like super rush into this into the Batman vs Superman movie, and it's. You try to put that storyline and then the death of Superman in the, in the same one. I, I don't have any more to say before yeah, we get into spoilers. I just want to talk shit about this movie already. Yeah, so spoiler warning. We're going to be getting into spoilers right now. Um, if you haven't seen this movie, go don't. out and see it. Like, you know, it, <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? Don't, don't fucking see this movie. <laughs> no, you, go watch it. Experience it for yourself. Yeah. Maybe you guys will like this movie. I know if maybe I was a kid when this movie came out, maybe I would have liked it and eventually hated it, right? It all depends on you depending maybe you're a big flash fan and you're like yeah movie of the year but if you're really really a flash fan this is not your movie yeah though. this is not flash let's mm -hmm. uh you know and it sucks that he he uh he hasn't gotten his due uh but like we said there's a spoiler warning so we're gonna get a spoilers right now yeah Fuck yeah we'll go for we'll go from the beginning and try to work our way to the end all right so in the beginning of the movie we, we get flash and he's uh he's late to work right mm -hmm. because Apparently he's fast as fuck, but he's late everywhere, right? Yeah, that's the the running joke. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, uh, right? And then the CGI on changing the suit, the CGI on Batman running around. I mean, I get it. He's just cleaning up the scene. I, anything you want to talk about yes. before I get to the babies? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that that fucking scene was atrocious. But one thing that I hate in this movie, I hated from the trailer. I knew I wasn't gonna like it, and that I've hated every time I've seen it, and thank God it's been few and far in between, but it's Batman coming out during the day. I hate that. I hate it. Batman operates at night. When you see him out during the day, it is so, like, weird. It's so out of place. Now... Barry, the dark colors just don't... Yeah, it just... It, it doesn't... He doesn't really do that. He doesn't do that. Yeah. So it does. He's he is the night. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like he's a he's a hero that solely operates, you know, at night. I think the Batman with Robert Pattinson made a, a a very good point of it. The majority of the movie was at fucking night. They could have easily made this scene at night, and I think it would have been fine. Um, they could have tweaked it a little I bit. I mean, it's a hospital. It's should be 24 7. yeah so I, I i didn't like that um i think it's a fun especially in this universe a fundamental fundamental misunderstanding of batman and they've done it multiple times like but that it that was, that that pissed it was, me off it was one thing to see batfleck back in the scene like it was it was great yeah believe me but once you see that bike rolling in and that see the cgi on that cape like the cape really the cape it couldn't be couldn't it have been a real cape? No capes. <laughs> God damn it, bro. Like, oh my goodness. Like at least the little things, the little, the little things, that ma the little things matter, right? But you mess up and even the little things, not even getting me started on the back cave. I don't know if you noticed the water. It will bad. get there, but even the water was fucking fake. Like you couldn't, you could tell it was like a video game water. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so next scene. So we get to, uh, uh, you know, Batman's going to take down the robbers whatnot and you got flash cleaning up the uh, uh the aftermath of the this yeah this hospital that's falling apart now part of this hospital collapses these 10 or so babies and this nurse <laughs> fall out of the because, window and this is one thing that dc always goes and does wrong i don't know if you remember from was it justice league is like oh they're fighting um uh, what was it steven wolf and the world is gonna fucking explode but there's only one whole family that they saved throughout the whole fucking movie oh, yeah. i don't know if you noticed yeah. it. there's only one family in here and there's a big ass hospital maybe yeah flash saves like one two more people that were on the floor mm -hmm. but out of the whole hospital one nurse and 10 babies yeah that's that it that you need a fucking a big ass building for just one yeah. nurse and 10 babies they were the only people in that side of the building because i think i think the excuse they were using is it didn't fully collapse it just kind of fell and then mm. they fell out the window but come on there, there wasn't yeah, any other this, people on that oh whole side of that building so it's just like it, and i know it sounds like we're bitching about little things but i'm telling you if you haven't seen this, if you haven't seen this movie yet the little things there's a, it's hard to kind of ignore it yeah like it, it, it's hard to 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 to, to pass it up and then <laughs> We just came from watching what was it spider-man yeah uh, across the spider -verse. across the spider-verse and it's a cartoon movie right and at least at least it lives up to that and they have a lot of little details here and there we the fans 
we care about those small details. Yeah. If you don't care enough to make a movie for the fans like that, we're not going to be invested. I'll give you that right now. No, but uh, and then we cut to, you know, obviously the baby's falling out the window. And like Rui mentioned earlier, I'm not joking. Again, I hate to bitch about CGI, but it was... It was worse than the Twilight Baby. Yeah, Yes, that's, that's <laughs> what it was. Exactly. That's they put what a baby in a microwave. And it looked so Canceled. bad. <laughs> At least they saved the dog. I'm happy about the dog, but everything looks so fucking fake. Yeah, it, it like, looked like I get it. It's fake. It's CGI rendered video game. That's what it was. Like it was so like I had people around me. You know, it looked like normies. Mm -hmm. You know, people just going out to see a mindless movie, and even they were laughing at how bad the CGI was. <laughs> it was fucking like I was getting secondhand cringe. I was like, they watch this movie. Stephen King, um, um, mm -hmm. uh, James Gunn, all these people. The director, uh, Andy Muschietti. They watched this movie after they were done with everything. They were like, all right, the CGI is good to go. It's it's the best we could do. But it, <laughs> it was it was not good. It was not. And then, well, we get to Flash not being able to help his father. And then he's like, oh, maybe I can go back in time again. Another thing I'm going to nitpick because, I mean, we're Batman fans, especially we like Batman. If Batman had that talk with Flash, he would have he would have been already ready for before Flash even went back in time, he was like, I know you're going to do this, Flash. And he at least tried to stop him. But we didn't get that. He was like, nah, it's cool, bro. Yeah, or hang like, out with him at just, least. Just don't do it, bro. Yeah. He walks off and then he fucks up the fucking timeline. Yeah, if the real, if the actual Batman was there, he would have done something about it. He has a he has a contingency plan for everything. Yeah, the characters are really kind of dumbed down in this movie. It's hard to say. Even they went he, backwards. Yes, they went backwards. He, Bruce having that talk with 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 uh, 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 Barry. Uh, you know, when Barry's talking about how he can go back, he can fix things. I feel like the real Bruce would hang out with him. Like you know, he he's obviously feeling down. He's obviously you know uh, uh, at uh, the possibility of fucking things up. But Bruce is like. Nah, not and tonight. Maybe the, some the, other time. The thing about Batman is that he cares, but he doesn't show you he cares. He would have, I mean, he would have been like, okay, whatever, bro. Let's go fight some crime. Like, he's just been like, whatever, right? And he would have, like, at least try to help him out without making it seem like he cared. Because that's just the type of character Batman is. And this guy was like, do this. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I know Bruce, it showed Bruce helping by getting the footage for, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, for Barry's yeah, yeah. dad to try to exonerate him in his crime, but he couldn't have done anything else. Like he's Bruce. Maybe Wayne. he was about to go get laid. With yeah, maybe, Wonder you know, he had Woman. plans, but he's, he's super rich. He has so much influence. He couldn't have like, I don't know. Even, I mean, they're I, talking about the death of his parents and Barry's parents. Well, the mom, right? Cause, yeah. And he didn't feel emotional at all. Like, Bruce was just like, yeah, you know, parents die all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you'll boy, be all right. You'll be all right is what make us heroes. So many missed opportunities to make the tension and feel they feel, you know, you as a fan feel engaged yeah. in the movie. It, I was just like, okay, cool. Batman was here. I'm happy Batman was here. <laughs> yeah, like the pacing and the dialogue between the characters was, it, yeah. was, it was really choppy. Um, like I said, if you're fans of like the, the, the comic characters, animated mm -hmm. series, then they just come off as like a little off, yeah. a, a lot off in this movie. But after that, you know, they, they had that talk, Barry, uh, well, they had the talk actually after Barry first found out that he could time travel. Yeah. And I'll be one, one of the few good things about this movie. I love how they kind of, um portrayed visually portrayed the speed force mm -hmm. and time that traveling. for sure yeah i thought that was so unique when he was first going into it i was like okay how are they going to do this how is it going to look is it just going to be a tunnel how it usually mm -hmm. is in comics even the cw show but it looked like in my the best word i can use is a theater like because it's all around him yeah and he's running in place in this like theater if, of the they, past. They, if they had gotten the cgi right oh, it yeah. would have been fucking beautiful the, man. in that scene I mean, the cgi we've, sucks yeah sucks. we've seen time travel movies back and forth i mean we have the multiverse we have marvel trying to do things with that and they did something different here in dc mm -hmm. they just didn't know how to put, portray it the right way yeah. i mean they could have make it look beautiful and you would have been like yeah, you know the characters look like like in those those sequences where he's time they look traveling. Like clay, they, they, yeah, like clay characters, cartoon characters. It was again, it's hard to appreciate I've it. Got when one it just question like for you, shit. Robert. Yeah, what's have up? you ever seen Smallville, Superman? <laughs> yeah, I have. You have? Yeah. When he started running to go back in time, 
it kind of looked like that scene when he meets Flash when he, he's a yeah, kid he and they're both like. <laughs> I was like, I had a flashback, bro. And I love Smallville, Superman. That's a good show. I love that show. Uh, it's, a, it's a good show. Maybe not the best CGI because it's old, but at least. That, it was comparable It was to a this. good story with a bad CGI because it was old. At least they can get away with that. But this movie is pretty new. So let's move on. I'm sorry. I just have no, to No, no, you're fine. You're fine. Yeah, yeah, it was super distracting. So uh, we go to where he's like, he's like, fuck it. I'm going to go back in time. I'm going to change mm -hmm. it. So he goes back. He, you know, he saves his mom. He meets his younger self. Um, and that's when he starts finding out that certain things in this reality are different, mm -hmm. even though uh, uh, different than before what he changed. So he, he's not understanding. He's confused of why that is. I like that. That's, you know, uh, par for the course for uh, Flash. One thing I got for Flash, I, and I'm sorry, and I know I mentioned it in the theater. I mean, I get it that. They're trying to include everyone, but like, I'm mean, what, what's up? He has Hispanic parents, parents now. I mean, in the comics, he was white. Uh, I know. I mean, you already have Blue, Be Blue Beetle that's supposed to be Mexican as well. You have Miles Morales as Puerto Rican, Miguel O'Hara that's what is he, Colombian, something like that. Hmm. But they're all Hispanic, like, yeah. You, you're saying we have enough Hispanic. <laughs> no, I, I was like, they're taking our superheroes, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Mexican, I can say that, all right? Yeah, 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 yeah. he's right. Mexican, I'm half Mexican and half yeah, black, but. You know? But like, I mean, I get it. And me from a Mexican standpoint, I don't want to see that. I mean, I would rather say Nacho Li see Nacho Libre every <laughs> fucking day than seeing, you know, like the Flash being a Hispanic guy, you know? I like Flash being a white guy. That's why he was corny, you know? Mm -hmm. And then, well, the character that plays Flash is white as fuck. I mean, it doesn't make sense. He yeah. doesn't even have an accent like his mom. Uh, his yeah, dad. so I think that was, a, a, correct me if I'm wrong, but before this point, they have never mentioned that at all. Like, they mentioned maybe he's a Jew, he's Jewish. Yeah. And I was like, okay, whatever, I don't care. But now, all of a sudden, Hispanic Hispanic mom, it mm -hmm. just like, like you said, like Rui said, like, like we're both, uh, or he's full Hispanic, I'm half Hispanic, and we love to see Hispanic representation, but I've never liked changing a set character, uh, race bending. Just mm -hmm. for the sake of it. It, yeah. it doesn't add anything to the movie. Mm -hmm. it, it, it just... Don't get me wrong. I felt for the mom. She was she actually acted good in the movie. Mm -hmm. And I like what they brought up for her being Hispanic and stuff like that. I just don't like that they, it felt like it was just like pushed yeah. in. And then I didn't feel like the Flash really cared, you know. Yeah. But anyways, we can move on from there. Yeah, yeah. I know it was a bit divisive, but... Yeah. Who the fuck cares? Um... <laughs> So he uh, he's uh, interacting with his younger self. Uh, he's uh, he's finding out that things are different. I like that. I like the, the interaction. Mm -hmm. um, well, and then well, if you notice it when you first watch it, I mean, that black flash thing he pushes him out of the oh the yeah speed force, and well, it connects later on. You'll see it. It's I mean, if you watch movies before, you already know what's gonna happen. Uh, and then he misses his parents. He misses himself. I fucking hated College Flash. You oh you didn't like him? Fuck no, bro. <laughs> yeah, he was a bit too like a bit too like I don't know stupid. Yeah, I mean I get the Flash was already kind of corny, you know, and I was okay with that. But then he was younger and he was even more corny. Like I couldn't handle two of them. Yeah, you know the jokes and the humor in this movie kind of reminded me of current Marvel. How it's pretty pretty yeah. fucking cringy. They're bringing too much humor into it, especially when you bring back Flash from Paradox. Oh, that's yeah. a serious movie. Yeah, I mean, mean, this universe, DC universe, is supposed to be serious. Hints of comedy because the Flash and Green Lantern, Green Lantern are like the comic reliefs. Yeah, yeah, right. They have that that balance, right? Or maybe sometimes the Teen Titans depends on what universe, right? Yeah. Uh, but in this one, it's like everyone's funny. Batman's funny. Wonder Woman's funny. Aquaman's funny. Flash is stupid not funny stupid yeah and i right? thought they had learned from this already because yeah. i know they had tried with like the justice league when when josh whedon took over and he put all his jokes and quips like he did at marvel and it was universally this is shit. Mm -mm. so i thought after that they kind of learned their lesson about hey let's not try to copy marvel when it comes to being lighthearted yeah. and stuff like that i i love dc for how like the serious tones and stuff they have then yeah. yeah they still have jokes here and there even in the the, the animated movies which are amazing the best mm -hmm. dc properties but it's because got. you have a serious setting and then you have to have a moment where maybe one of the person says a joke or something and it, it, it actually lands because the whole movie is not funny 
Mm -hmm. It's just that small piece that lets you have a small relief before actually something even more serious yeah. happens. And it makes sense you know? to the story. Like yeah. the joke doesn't come out of nowhere like yeah. a fucking sitcom. Like when, whenever in the in the DC universe in the cartoon, like whenever uh, Flash tries to be tries to meet Batman, I mean fucking Batman just fucking ignores him, and he takes away his ring like nothing. Oh, yeah. was it the Green Lantern? It was a Green Lantern, I think. Yeah, it was Green. And they were just joking around back and forth, and then they treat Barry Allen like a kid, obviously, right? But at least Batman is serious, and then the other guy's just a kid trying to be a mature person, but he's he's still a kid overall, and he still has like some jokes to break the tension. And this guy just, I mean, they just try to be funny all the time, and it doesn't work out. Yeah. Oh, oh my next god. Next scene. <laughs> next. Um, so uh, he realizes that shit's fucked up. You see that Zod is invading Earth. Um, there's no metahumans. There's no Clark Kent. There's no Diana Prince. Mm -hmm. um, there's no uh, uh, Aquaman. So Barry's starting to freak out. Hey, fuck the fish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, it's the day, and he, he happens to come back on the day that he originally got his powers. Yeah. So now he's uh, uh, the uh, the younger version of himself, the second version of mm -hmm. this universe. They go to the lab where he got his powers, and he's gonna try to you know set it up to where his younger self gets his powers. In the lightning strike that ensues. Barry, our Barry, loses his powers, yeah. and the other Barry gets powers because the lightning bolt goes through ours into the other. I didn't understand that. I've, I, I was okay. So how, yeah. does, how does that make him lose his powers? It just feels like it was. Just I, like, honestly, when I watched that part, I was like, okay, they're both gonna get powers because it doesn't make sense that only one gets hit and then the other one gets hit as well, and the only once. I, I don't, I don't get it. I was like, fuck it, let's keep on going with the yeah. movie. <laughs> honestly, that's what I said. And then he lost his tooth. And the tooth fell into the other Barry Allen's mouth. Uh, like, in what, in what universe do you think that's gonna be funny? It's not. It's fucking disgusting. We don't want to <laughs> see that. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh. it was. It was just like it was. There was a lot of moments where I just I wanted to groan just because I was like, all right, just. I did groan. I, I don't know if you saw me. Yeah. I was in the movie. I was like, oh. I was like, all right, let's let's get past this. Just end the joke. Let's go to the next scene. Yes, honestly. Back oh. to the action. Yeah, yeah. And then you can't even fucking uh, appreciate the action because it looks like shit. Yeah. So I think the only CGI that was good is when Michael Keaton was fighting. Yeah, Michael Keaton's Batman was the only time it really looked decent. Yeah. And that's where we get to next where yeah. um, uh, Barry, uh, he, he uh, finds out that there is a Batman in this universe. So mm -hmm. he's him and second Barry go to Wayne Manor. They meet michael keaton's bruce wayne they find out that you know he's been retired gotham's doing well in this universe so he there's no need for him yeah um so. i kind of like that you know it's like yeah. a retired batman we've seen that in comics before and it's hard for batman to stay retired you know because yeah, he's he has to find a way to try to forget his parents death and stuff like that and so Gotham's he's usually always a shit and hole. he doesn't even have alfred in this universe so he's a fucking bum mm -hmm. and i get it and that actually works out it makes fucking sense at least they didn't make make it way different. I'm glad I'm glad they took that direction. I like that from this movie. All yeah. right, don't take it away. Yeah, yeah, that was really good. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Michael Keaton's Batman was probably uh, I'm just gonna say it was the best part of the movie for me. Mm -hmm. um, I know other people before I seen the movie said that that was gonna be the case just from the trailers, but it, it really he really it was wasn't really, really because of the nostalgia. It's because everything else just falls apart in front of your eyes, <laughs> and at least his parts are good. His acting is good. His CGI is good. The fight scenes are good. The choreography between the characters is good. He's actually a pretty cool Batman. Yeah. Right? He's, they did not do too much. They didn't do too little. You know? Yeah. I've never seen, actually, the Michael Keaton Batman movie. So, like, going I'm out. in. I'm huh? out. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? It's such a good movie. I, like I, said, well, I, well, I mentioned it before. I, don't, I haven't seen a lot of older well, movies. In the, Basically, his cow was like all the way to his shoulder. Yeah, so, so he, he can't the... turn his head. I, I, I did like that joke they did when the uh, second Barry made his suit out of an old Batman suit, and he couldn't turn his head. It was his mask was all fucked up. Yeah, but yeah. So for for reference or for context sake, I've never seen the old Batman movies. So going into this, I knew there was no like nostalgia for me. So Michael Keaton knocking it out of the park, being the best part of the movie, I thought was fantastic. Yes, fantastic for him. I'm glad we can agree on that. Yeah. Coming from someone with nostalgia and someone without nostalgia, you already know you're going to get a good Batman. Yeah. And it's not bad flick. <laughs> exactly. So they partner up with, uh, uh, they convince, they, they explain the situation. Uh, Zod is starting in his invasion in this alternate universe. Uh, they explain the situation of uh, uh, Michael Keaton's Batman. 
and eventually he agrees to help them find Superman um, because they find out that Superman's locked up in a Siberian prison. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, again, this is this sticks a little closer to the Flashpoint uh, uh, storyline. So they get to the prison and it is Supergirl or Superwoman. My bad. Uh, I mean, she's still, she looks like a girl. So it was a Supergirl. Yeah. Um, but yeah, actually, this Batman helped out Barry way more than the Batfleck Batman. You know, like mm. he actually listened to him, tried to help him. Yeah. Because he wasn't going to help him at all. And then he was like, you know what? I feel bad for the kid. You know, I had parents once too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I love that dynamic that they did. Um, mm-hmm. So they go, they find out that it's not Kal El Clark Kent mm-hmm. locked in this prison, it is Kara Zor El. Um, and the, the thing is, the one thing I didn't like from that scene is that they were like, he's not here. And Barry was like, oh, I'm still going to grab her and take her away. Like, what? <laughs> you already said it's, he's not here. Yeah, like, but I don't know where you expect it to work out. You know, like, you did not try to, like, hey, like, who are you? Why are you here? Blah, blah, blah. I know she's kind of passed out, but at least try to help out the person trying to figure out what the is going yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. Takes out some information. They just expected it to work and then. Well, the surprise wasn't really a surprise whenever she actually, like, woke up with, with the sun, because that's how uh, Kryptonians work. Yeah. Uh, I, and she had the, well, she didn't even have the suit, but she had, like, superpowers, and they just, it just worked out out of nowhere, you know? Yeah, I think the Kara scenes were a little rushed um, yeah. overall. Um, you don't really, I don't know, you don't really get to know her too well. You know, she doesn't have too much dialogue. Mm-hmm. Uh, she doesn't want to, they, they rescue her. Supergirl, she's out. Yeah, she, she flies away. She, yeah, she doesn't want to help. The, she, she's like, I'm Kryptonian. I'm not human. I don't care. Yeah, because the humans obviously have kept her captive for mm-hmm. years. Exactly. So she doesn't give a fuck. But she flies off. That's our fault. Yeah, We're yeah exactly. <laughs> and uh, she, uh, she ca- uh, encounters Zod, the scene in Man of Steel where Zod initially meets Superman mm-hmm. and he agrees to go up with him. Um, but he, uh, he, there's no one there. So he have just all out just starts attacking the humans, killing them. I didn't like this because, and this goes on later until the final scenes, the final battle, mm-hmm. is the humans, it looks like a war zone. Like there's humans actively fighting back against the Kryptonians. The Kryptonians are using guns. In Man of Steel, to my knowledge, they didn't use guns. They were literally just fucking, you know, using their, yeah, their, their got, powers. Actually, if whenever they cut to the scene that you see it from the top and you see the laser start shooting, even that CGI was bad. Like you see the like, wee, wee, like what the fuck is yeah. like puppets. And then saw it. Saw it, super girl, super woman, woman super, whatever. <laughs> she he saw him. She saw him and he saw her. Mm-hmm. And then somehow she still got time to fly back and try to save uh Barry. And then they were still fighting back there like nothing fucking happened. Yeah, if he's seen if, her and he's yeah, after he her, then why gone, didn't he just like go he after would've her? He would have gone after her just like he did with Superman, you know. Like he would like he wouldn't have w- wasted in second. Yeah. He wouldn't have just waited for her to come back. That's the mission, trying to get her. So, like, yeah. I don't understand. Like, where did the screenwriters thought that was a good <laughs> idea? Like, don't you think? Oh, uh, yeah. It's like I said. With the, the, I'm not a screenwriter. I don't know. But at least I would want to say that if you're getting paid to do this, you think about every single... Like, plot hole. Plot hole, yeah. you know? Like, you have... It's not just one person working on this. I'm pretty sure it's a team and stuff like that. And you have to make a movie that makes sense. Yeah, so but. he sees Supergirl, Zod sees Supergirl, and allows her to leave, and she goes back to... Uh, the She'll f- be back. Yeah, <laughs> the Flash and Batman, and she <laughs> agrees to help them. So they all team up. Uh, ba- oh, yeah, the original Barry gets his powers back. I like that scene. I mm-hmm. thought it was... Yeah, that uh, was a pretty scene. Like, they got the CGI right on the on some of the scenes. They look, they look beautiful, but I think they spent too much money and just those small like it was like four maybe yeah. beautiful scenes and then you're just like eh, the other the other side of the movie doesn't fucking matter it fucking matters i'm curious to see how much mo- how much money they spent on this movie because i i i i find it hard to believe that they put it all in a cgi i, I think they just like since they knew they were gonna scrap the whole universe and uh, start new they were just like cut the budget and start investing on the new thing yeah and it kind of like messed up with the producing of this movie and stuff like that maybe maybe that's the case yeah. Maybe I'm wrong, you know, but that's what I could think. Yeah, that's what, how it felt. Uh, um, but yeah, so original Barry gets his power back. Uh, it is kind of reminiscent of Flashpoint Paradox a little bit. And so it was a pretty cool scene to watch. Um, mm-hmm. And then, all right, time for the final battle. Yes. They, they had One to, thing, 
it wouldn't have made sense if by the time they came back to the battle, everyone was fucking dead. It wasn't even that big of an army back there. It, you only need one Kryptonian, <laughs> one, to kill everyone with Laser like, eyes, sh yeah. chop all the heads. Boom. Or just just real, just real, punching everyone really quick. Yeah, it, bro. It, they're fucking strong. Yeah, they're they're strong. They're almost as uh, fast as Flash. Not quite, but all, you know, on that same level mm -hmm. uh, or a level near that. So the fact that the humans were still like... Mm -hmm in a war zone with them and then the some of the kryptonians are using guns i'm like what like well, who who again goes back to yeah, the screen right yeah. in man of steel the the uh the kryptonians felt like actual yeah. threats there is no tension like that in this film like in the, in the, the color scene in that whole fucking movie makes you feel that tension for the big bad and then he comes in he doesn't give a fuck mm -hmm. you know he's he, he's He's gonna kill your mom if you're getting his way, you know. Mm -hmm. But this one, it was just like, oh yeah, Assad's here. Yeah, we're gonna beat him up. Yeah. We have to beat him up because if not, everyone's gonna die. But you don't feel the big bad tension, you know. Mm -hmm. I, we forgot to mention it was uh, mentioned earlier in the film that Barry. It was only a couple days after he got his powers. Our Barry, the original Barry. That he was in Metropolis when Zod's uh, attack oh, and yeah, happened. Yeah. They kind of retcon that. Uh, or added that you know mm -hmm. so he was uh he uh he ran to metropolis but he still he was still brand new he had just gotten his powers he had a goofy outfit on mm -hmm. and he ended up saving one kid you know he couldn't save the kid's father he felt guilty about it you know he's still brand new I cu i'll cut him some slack you know he maybe the panic the freak out of yeah. you know seeing everyone Wait, dying but that, that's that's good he's trying to save like he's trying to do something good with his power that actually added to the character yeah you know? Yeah, it, it gave him some depth, you know, he was mm. there on that day. Because I could imagine that, you know, that day in Man of Steel where, like, the whole city's fucking getting destroyed. There's people dying everywhere. Yeah. So to have Barry, you know, someone who's young and then just got his powers to be there and witness some of that, it kind of adds a little bit to the character. Yeah. Yeah, should he probably have done more having super speed, you know, helping people as far as in Metropolis, just saving that one kid? Mm. Probably. But, again, he's, he was still brand new. So, yeah. Um, and, I mean, like, he did, didn't know how to control... His oh, speed yeah. with, uh, with with the people. whole well, remember oh, the whole thing the, when the it gravity. goes all, with the gravity thing yeah. went up and down. He flew up too, so he couldn't. He was like, I don't yeah, know. He could have easily died himself. Yeah, he could have died himself. Well, he put himself out there. It was a good addition, just like when they added Batman. Oh, you know yeah. his at least his side was like reflective from whenever you see Superman just poof, fighting yeah. Sod. That's a good scene, you know. And this one, it adds, it adds to the character as well. That's a pretty good scene. Good thing, it was a good way to tie up the three movies. You know, but I remember Superman, Man of Steel, and The Flash, even though it's another universe, right? But yeah, that that's a good scene. I'll give you that. All right, the final battle. Um, it it is. Everyone was making fun of it in the trailers, especially that shot when all three of them run and then they stop in in, in the shot. It's just as bad. In the movie. Everyone said that they were gonna work on it or that they should work on it. They didn't. The whole but final what? battle looks like putty. Car goes after Zod. Mm -hmm. The two flashes. They start trying to hold off the Kryptonians. Yeah. Batman's in his uh, uh, in the in the the Batwing, mm -hmm. just trying to engage from the sky. So it was decent. I, I liked when he made the uh, original Barry made the little tornado. Yeah, that's one of his powers. It, yeah, and, exactly. That yeah. was a cool scene. That was a cool scene. But for the most part, I mean, oh, and then they they introduce throwing lightning. I like that. They have that mm -hmm. obviously in the CW show. They overuse the fuck out of it. <laughs> In the CW show, but uh, you know the, the comic. Oh, don't even get started about the lightsabers. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> yeah, they, they 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 killed it. They killed it. Mm -hmm. um, that but, was a good show until they killed it too. Yeah, but the throwing lightning. I love the power set that they actually brought out uh, from mm -hmm. the Flash in here because a lot of his powers are obscure. A lot of people just know him as being fast, and yeah. then he has just lightning come off. No, him. like but he, he can throw lightning he can phase through objects that was very prominent in this movie mm -hmm. um and then he can create again like cyclones tornadoes so it was good a variety of powers but it was just few and far in between the phasing was pretty mm -hmm. pretty much throughout yeah but like the cyclones and the uh, uh they only use that once and the throwing lightning they just use that at the end of the movie but mm -hmm. they did use it pretty generously at the end yeah. in the final battle and then i like the color scheme for the lightning you know you have the blue lightning and the yellow lightning is pretty iconic you know it, it, it looks color Good color scheme. And then the scene where they're running around and they kick the heels. And then that scene looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. But then after they kick the heels and you see the people just floating and then they're beating them up. That looks fucking junky, bro. Like, yeah. It just goes back At least you guys could have done something cool together. Like work as a team or something. But 
Hey, one went that way, one went the other one. The bodies just look like they're going like. Oh. <laughs> I get it. It's like, it's like, like it's in so speed and it's not fast. But I mean, you have X Men, Days of Future Past. Yeah, yeah. You have other you, great. You have other speed, uh, speedsters that mm -hmm. I have great scenes. Grab something from it. We're already you now. You're trying to compete with Marvel. Yeah, use but it. you're not competing the right way. Use it as inspiration. Like yeah. you don't have to copy it frame for frame, but like. Take what they did, be like, hey, like people really enjoyed this, so let's mm -hmm. kind of let's try to think of something, you know, the outside soundtrack. the soundtrack. I didn't yeah. really fuck with the soundtrack; it felt pushed. Yeah, especially the licensed music at the end. It was mm -hmm. just, I, I could have swore they used that in a different like DC movie. So I was mm -hmm. just like, okay, they're they reusing this song, but, um, uh, and then the little reveal, which I thought that it was, uh, I thought it got me because um, then Bruce sacrifices himself, yeah, and dies. And then Kara gets killed by Zod. Mm -hmm. And so the two flashes are like, holy shit, like we fucking lost. Mm -hmm. But then they're like, okay, wait a minute. Let's let's go back in time. Again. Again. <laughs> and let's try to fix it. Let's try just this final battle, just this moment. So they go back. They try to fix the little, little mistakes within the battle. But Bruce and Kara end up dying again. So they try to go back again. And it's to the point where the original Barry understands that this is a fixed point. Mm -hmm. You know, this is something that cannot be changed. Yeah. This, canon event. It's a canon <laughs> event. It, it sucks. Maybe we would have enjoyed this movie a little better if we didn't see Across the Spider-Verse just recently. Because mm -hmm. a lot of the elements of that movie are in this movie too. But it's done way better in that movie. But yep. um, So it is a canon event that, that Kara and Bruce die. You, you, can't, you can't save it. So original Bruce is like, he's already given up. He already knows what he has to do. He has to go back and stop himself from saving his mother. Mm -hmm. His mother has to die. So this world is never born um, because this is how it ends with Zod just killing everyone on the earth. Mm -hmm. um, but second Barry, young Barry, you know, obviously he doesn't want. He, nah. Yeah. He, nah, nah. 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 You know, we can save everyone, you know, yeah. obviously. And you feel for him. You yeah, know, exactly. You, like, he doesn't obviously, you, you, you kind of want that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because you expect someone to be like, nah, like, there's something I, ha I can do. Because mm -hmm. it's just that that whole scene happened while they were in that little in world. The, yeah, in that little, in the speed force. In the speed force. And it just looked ugly all around. Yes. And it, it sucked because it like freezes frame on mm -hmm. character sometimes when they're in like this theater of the the Speed Force. Yeah, and they look so bad. Like it, it's like you, the two characters are having dialogue, and in the background there's like video game characters. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty shit. But you feel for Second Barry. You know our Barry. You know he's lived almost his whole life without his mom, so he's had somewhat you know gotten not gotten used yeah. to it. You never get used to losing a parent, yeah. but he's he's lived with that. But second barry you know he's he's always had his mom so you know trying to come to terms with hey i have to let my mom die mm -hmm. so all this horrible stuff doesn't happen i mean i i'm in his shoes too i'd be like no like i can fix this i can go i'm a fucking superhero i can go back in time mm -hmm. so i can fix this yeah. i would probably have that same mindset yeah um, and I understand and we go back to wherever he got punched out of the like the, the speed, speed force by speed this force. random speedster i when i saw that i knew that was gonna fucking happen you know like it, there's a way that it, it had to be one of the two berries and they were going to try to connect it, you know, try to make it seem like Back to the Future type of deal. They yeah. kept mentioning Back to the Future several times. It did not work out for me. You know, you, you already have a good character. You have Reverse Flash. Thank you for fucking mentioning it. And because you bring this anomaly <laughs> right in front of my face and tell me it's like yeah i punched I, I actually took you out so you can create me have, have you seen season three of uh of the cw show the flash no so everyone who's seen that savitar y'all know what i'm talking about this ex is exactly that this is savitar they didn't mention him i think on promote a promotion he's just black flash with mm -hmm. i know black flash the character in the comics but so younger barry turns into this i'm just gonna call him black mm -hmm. flash because for years and years he's going back back in time to try to try to save kara yeah. and bruce in this final battle and he keeps messing up over and over and he just keeps going and going until he's completely yeah, he, deformed mm -hmm. he looks like a monster 
Um, so that's why he kicked our Barry out of the Speed Force earlier in the movie. So that way, mm -hmm. younger Barry could get his powers. That way, he himself could be born. It's kind of like a paradox. It's the same thing as the Savitar stuff in, in the CW show. Spoilers for fucking season three. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. But, like, you could have, like, at least have, like, a surprise type of element, not try to put in a fucking plate for us. Mm -hmm. I mean, he could have. What if the Speed Force had just fucking exploded? And then at the end, you realize it was actually you know reverse flash that caused it and you know to like you know i created you you created me whatever this type of deal you see the character come out of the fucking like the cgi in the back <laughs> you know like what the uh, anyways so and then you get him there you know we can start seeing the cutouts from the several multiverses you start seeing all the characters oh, yeah cage. <laughs> that we've seen before and like, the cgi and everything was fucking terrible too <laughs> like the matt reeves superman oh, my and goodness. then and then you got nick cage because I, if you didn't know nick cage was supposed to play superman yeah. back uh, uh and he has there's this one video when he's in the suit and, yeah. you know so but that looks terrible too bro. it looks like a cartoon um it's 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 a thing of like when it's it's almost like I want to say that I enjoyed seeing it mm -hmm. because I, I always enjoy yeah, it's, it's, like it's nostalgic. But and I think, again, it goes back to there's been a lot of multiverse movies lately. Yeah. And I think those movies did these scenes much, much better. Mm -hmm. Like across they, they kind of did the no way home, no way home type of thing. Yeah. And I mean, you have the three flashes right there arguing. It's like, oh, I, I know who you are. And blah, blah. Like, he's like the three Spider-Man. Like, eh, yeah, you know, whatever. He's supposed to be the villain of the story, trying to help out everybody. Like, at least there could have been some conflict and they could have like at least started fighting a little bit to the point that maybe they start reaching out to other timelines. You know, that, that would have been a something like something Reese like that, you know, like make every punch feel like something bad could happen. Something could like feel like it could destroy everything. Like this whole movie said like, oh, we can destroy the whole multiverse and stuff like it didn't feel it didn't feel like it yeah it, it didn't just, you didn't feel the stakes you're in this it. cgi fucking planet that's colliding with other planets that goes around and, and they're all a, different colors i that, i didn't even, <laughs> i didn't even fucking get Bro, that. like, like I thought, at least like you know how they did it into um was it into the spider verse or the other across one? the spider -verse? across the spider verse you know whenever spot goes to the little spot and he goes into the lego universe and stuff like mm -hmm. that at least you, you kind of see that here in the flash whenever he's going back in time when they're arguing and they were fighting you know like why couldn't that little bit happen you know like maybe like crumble up something no you just had to like open up the portals and have people just looking at it yeah I, like you, there's other ways to do this type of it thing seems that make super it super lazy super lazy like the like, the, the cameo you felt like a powerpoint presentation yes. the, the cameos they did from other other superman or other dc you know <sighs> uh, properties it was <laughs> it was so lazily done like mm -hmm. other things have done it better marvel uh, across the spider verse but I, i'm gonna rant for a little bit about about the villain like Rui said reverse flash top five all-time villains in, yep. in my opinion the fact that he's not in this movie mentioned a cameo fucking anything is atrocious they it have is a, atrocious i mean when you see flash from paradox i mean he thought it was reverse flash the one that fucked up the timeline he's trying to fix it because he doesn't have this you know the speed force and then he was like, nah, I'm just looking. Yeah. You did trying to save your mom. And it's like, oh, like yes. Oh, what the fuck? I mean, that that's a good movie. That's good screenwriting <laughs> right there. That's a good storytelling right there. But no, you guys just like I went the lazy way. I would have been even okay if they had, because, you know, it, it, it's known that, that Reverse Flash is the one that killed Barry's mom. I would have been okay with like... We such, don't even find out who killed her. Exactly. With such a small Easter egg of like maybe you see a yellow streak in this scene or that scene or like anything like that. I would have been okay with it. It just all kind of fixed at the end, you know, and it's a little better, but it's not because George Clooney came out. Oh, yeah, George. I yeah. didn't see the bad nipples. Give me back nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Give me bad nipples. <laughs> so yeah, at the end... Uh, uh, when Barry gets back to his timeline, he uh, he he did change one thing. Yeah. So he he his mother got killed again. So that is fixed. But he did add a little bit of uh, 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 this little scene or this little uh, event to where now that he's back in his timeline, where his dad can be exonerated from the murder of uh, his mom. Tomatoes from 
bottom shelf to top shelf. Yes. So I, you know, I thought that was pretty neat. It's like something smaller than, you know, something just, you know, like that's what I thought when he was thinking of going back in time, you know, find a way to maybe like have the guy the dad try dad. to look up. And actually that, that's the way that I thought the movie was going to go that Barry was just going to change something pretty small mm -hmm. and it was just going to be a catastrophic event. But, but if, if you could go back and you had to choose, you, if you could choose between saving your dad from prison for the murder of your mom or just outright saving yeah. your mom, you would save your mom. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, you could say two events. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess so too. I just, I don't know. I so, thought about it in the beginning. I thought he was going to be like, okay, I'm going to go save my dad, you know? But no, he went all the way back to my mom, which I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. But, so, and then, like you said, we get a little cameo that now instead of Michael Keaton or Ben Affleck, it's fucking George Clooney. He's the new Bruce Wayne in this new universe yeah. that, that Barry's in. Um, and I thought that was a pretty, pretty funny joke. I didn't, yeah. George Clooney hasn't been doing shit lately. So, uh, yeah. That is true. He yeah. looks good, though. Yeah. He looks good. I'll give you that. He looks good. Yeah. He's always looked good. Um, <laughs> and then a little post credit scene where. I guess Barry got back to his original universe because he's talking to Arthur about how he met Bruce again and it wasn't the mm -hmm. right Bruce. It wasn't their Bruce. So, you know, and Aquaman's all drunk and shit. And I thought it was a pretty funny scene. Yeah, it was a pretty funny scene. But at the end of Flashpoint Paradox, you at least know that that universe is like pssst, yeah. gone. And then you start a new story. You start the new 42. New 52. 52. That yeah. was the new 52. And you start with this all, uh, you know, new timeline, fresh. That didn't happen here. What happened? I thought we were, this was going to be the end of this atrocious couple of years that DC has been giving me fucking headaches, <laughs> you know? I miss, I miss Zack Snyder. I uh, mean, nah, he, don't he, say that. He fucked up in a couple of things, but he got some things right. He got some things right, yeah. but, but I mean, Batman kills, Superman kills, everyone's a murderer in his fucking movies. Yeah, uh, he's a pretty dark person. But yeah. I mean, at least he was darker than funnier. Yeah, I'll give you that. Yeah, but but at I, least that, like, I mean, I get it. Batman doesn't kill, Superman doesn't kill. But at least he went a little darker. If I ran into Zack Snyder's Batman in a fucking dark alley, I'd be begging for my life. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, please don't kill me. I got a daughter. Then he fucking... I don't know what I'm doing here, I swear. <laughs> he runs me down with his fucking... Where is she? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> But I'm I, vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> well, that Batman's scary too. Uh, but yeah, I think they're James Gunn right now is going to see the reaction of this movie. The, the box office is a big thing too. The movie could be kind of mid, like as far as like critic reviews, audience scores, or whatever. But as long as the money, if the if the movie makes a bunch of money, then they'll probably yeah. keep Ezra Miller around. You know, they'll keep going with the, uh, these characters. I'm not sure the Blue Beetle start because of J when James Gunn was already there or before. Cause it, it started, started before, but I think, that's why. I think it was in development. Uh, uh, it wasn't that far in development to where he didn't, he had a, a little bit of uh, uh, how influence do you, on it. How do you start this universe with Blue Beetle? I think it's going to be kind of like a soft, soft reboot with Blue Beetle. Like there'll be references, but it's not like, like uh, there's just, there's going to be, uh, what I'm expecting out of Blue Beetle, I could give a shit about like the actual main story. It's just going to be the, the cameos, Easter eggs, and the, the world building. Mm -hmm. That's what I think is going to be very important with Blue Beetle if this is the first movie in this mm -hmm. new universe. They need to have a good world building. The, the, the character itself could be shit, Blue, the Blue Beetle character, the plot, the story. But if the world building, the Easter eggs, the cameos get you hyped to, for the future of the DCU, mm -hmm. then I think that's a success. I just hope. Flash com comes out in that movie at the end and be like, okay, restart. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> at least something, I don't know. But hopefully they recast Flash and they recast everyone. Yeah, the dude's a, he's a reverse Flash in real life. I mean, yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, just certified soulless. soulless. This is indeed a fucking soulless flick. Yep. Um, that's all I got. Well, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And if you guys want us to watch anything else other than that, coming up movies, any shows, any episodes, any trailers, let us know in the comments. All right. Thank you.